we break the current food system into two chunks. The one that we refer to is system A. It's sometimes referred to as ultra processed. It is that the post-World War II, we saw that in World War II, people used food supply chains as a strategy and a weapon of war. And the United States said, look, we've got to figure out a way to end starvation and really grow the food food solution so that we can actually reduce the power of, of a threat in terms of war. And the United States led the way in terms of dramatic improvement in productivity on farms, uh, a lot more soy and corn, and that then processed, moved itself into more processed food. So there's higher, more higher availability of food, uh, reduced the cost of food, made it so that it was more shelf stable and could be supply the world. So really World War II led into that and we've really reduced the cost of the food system. And in many ways we have eliminated starvation. And so people who otherwise would have died at 30 of starvation are now living to 60. But the nature of that food system is more carbohydrate based and leads to more diabetes. So it's not, it's not a great food system, but it's, a, it's an, an example of an innovation that led to a, to a logical conclusion. On the other side, we talk about uh, the fresh food system. And the fresh food system is great. And most people who are affluent eat this. It's healthy meats, it's fish, it's, it's more expensive, it's fresh food. It has a lot of waste. You buy vegetables, I, you know, I buy spinach, I have spinach at home, I get through half the bag, the rest of it goes bad, I throw it away. So that spinach has been grown, moved, delivered, and half of it's used and the rest goes to waste. So it's a, it's a high waste system, it's expensive, it's not really scalable. Uh, it's great, but it's not scalable. And so what we do at iSelect is we've been thinking about the fact of, okay, we've got this health problem, we've got these giant markets, we have a global market. Uh, all of those are great from an investment standpoint, but how do we, how do we go about uh, improving the food system so that it's affordable, it's nutritious, tasty, healthy, it, it has the attributes of system A from a standpoint of lower cost, but it has the other attributes of quality from system B. So how do we make something that's cheaper and better? And if it's cheaper and better, people eat better, they reduce their costs associated with things like type two diabetes because they don't get it. And that reduces the healthcare costs. And if we design this correctly, we can develop a system that is more nutritious, healthier, and cheaper. And so that's the objective in terms of how can we use innovation to achieve that. That is the, that is the principal area that we're focused on as investors.